Hey, this is Gleb Bakhmadov, and this video will show the most popular or longest awaited Cypress feature, which is multi domain or multi origin in the same test. So, I have a test that goes to the list of courses on my local host, and then it clicks the login button, and then I need to log in, which you know, I'm supposed to do here by entering my email and password. And then I should go back to my courses. Unfortunately, it doesn't work very well because the login actually goes to a different domain. I'm using the course kit by Anthony Gore to implement the student management system. So here it's completely different origin and it's invisible to my test. Okay, so I installed Cypress version 9.6.0 and I enabled the experimental origin and session feature. And now here's what I can do. I can say this block of commands is really happening at different origin. And I have to specify the origin, course kit.dev. Let's see what happens now. I'll save the spec file, go back to Cypress, click on login button, and voila, look at the origin in the URL and it interacts with input form, clicks login, and now goes back to the courses where it verifies that, for example, logout button is now visible. And before it was login. Great, but that's just part of a puzzle. Check this out. Check this out. We're gonna log in again and again, and I don't wanna wait every time to type in the password, you know, click the login button. If I open the DevTools and I look at the application, I see local storage, right, from both domains. I see cookies, bunch of them, right, from different domains. Every time I log in, it sets some of these cookies. I don't know which ones. I don't really care. It's implementation detail from third-party domain. I'm going to be logging in again and again. So it makes sense for me to use size session command and give it a name. So this is a session login. So we're gonna wrap our whole procedure where we visit the courses, we go to a separate domain, we use the site origin, and at the end of this session will be some cookies, some application state in let's say session storage and so on. And we're gonna just wrap it in size session. And notice the session API says this is a new session called login. It executes all the commands, right? Logs in successfully, right? Then it saves the session. So if it took 12 seconds right now, let's rerun the test. Now it found the existing session, restore the session and the cookies, and voila, it logged in immediately. It's so convenient because now I can take this session and move it before each test. Because in this spec file or in this suite of tests, you have to log in before each test. So you can as well do it by restoring a session using size session command. And you have instant login using third party domain.